Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys? I hope you guys are well. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited to be here, you guys. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. This is going to be your, where are we, you guys? December 15th, you guys, to the end of the month, but I figured we would go ahead and, yes, you guys, cover major, major themes. And I also want to thank you. I want to thank you guys for being so patient with me. I'm so grateful for all of you. I know I did not complete my Zodiacs last month, you guys. I didn't upload um, Cancer last month, so I'm really excited to do so this month, you guys. So let's see what's happening. I'm really happy to be here, you guys. I'm so, so grateful. Okay, and for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient, you guys. I am a medium and I do offer mediumship based readings. All that information is priced below. So yes, I'm really excited, you guys. All of my links are below, you guys. And especially if you guys want to um, if you guys would like to donate to the channel, that would be amazing. I'm actually in the middle of a transition right now, so that would be great. If you guys feel um, generous and you guys are feeling as, you know, if you want to help me revamp the channel, you guys, that would be great. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is going on with the collective cancer. Okay, welcome to Capricorn season, cancer. Okay, I also have rushed services, you guys. On my Instagram, I would love for you to be there. I would love, love, love to have you there. If you guys are interested, I do also have a Reiki giveaway sessions coming up, you guys. I just want to update you. I want to make sure you guys are trusting um, the process of healing, you guys. Mainly because I have a few clients who are a bit afraid of getting um, Reiki sessions. So I want to just confirm, you guys, that I'm actually certified. So please trust the process. I don't want you guys to worry, okay? I want you to trust that everything will work itself out. Everything will be okay. And I have more than one certification. I'm not a Reiki master yet, you guys, so you can trust, okay? I do, I definitely do invoke the angels. I myself have been really working through my own spiritual um, practice as of late, you guys, and I've been really searching for just, um, just that light in me, okay? So a lot of you guys may be facing this as well, Cancer, as I was tuning into your element this month, okay? A lot of this has to do with Neptune, your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams, you guys, okay? Your dreams are incredibly significant in regards to your progress this month. So also looking at, um, looking at the colors, you guys, in your dreams, Looking at the symbols, pay attention, my loves, okay? It will really, really help you um, decipher what is happening, your intuition, Cancer. Okay, Neptune is also a planet of lucid dreaming, um, intuition, as I said, but it's also really embracing something new, a new um, endeavor, Cancer. Some of you, your grandmother has passed away, or you have an ancestor here, someone who um, very, very close to the kitchen. Someone who was very close to the kitchen, they loved to wash the dishes like that was their favorite thing. Okay, this is a grandparent for some of you. They are reminding you of clean dishes, of what it means to clean things up, you guys. Some of you may be facing um, some kind of challenge around your morality. Should I? Should I not? Okay, some of you guys are worried about some kind of decision around right or wrong. So please be careful, Cancer with who you're trusting when you're asking questions, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's happening for you, Cancer, the beginning of the month. Okay. Okay, you guys. Yes, I was actually looking at this card right before I started your reading, you guys. We have the King of Pentacles, you guys. We have this boost of confidence here. We have um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you guys, okay? We do have this powerful earth energy around the beginning of uh, Capricorn season, you guys. So December 15th, as we merge towards Capricorn, you guys, um, we are in Saturn retrograde. So a lot of you investments, 
you're dealing with someone here who is um, ready to invest in you they want to collaborate this person is very serious about money but look at the look at the card you guys look at how beautiful this card is it lifts you up okay it like literally will pull you up um the king of pentacles is my favorite this is like husband material you guys you know <laughs> i do a lot of this with the king of pentacles you guys um this is someone you guys who is really grounded in terms of business in terms of dedication in terms of loyalty okay and i also see someone who is really 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 curious about you cancer they are actually someone who like you that this is someone who likes you or this is someone who who is very confident that you guys are going to work well together okay so I also see gifts, Cancer, but I, I am having a vision here. My, my angels, you guys, my spirit guides, they are showing me a lot of you. Please be careful for who you're trusting in terms of signatures and home. This is to do with some kind of contract with home. You guys are buying a new home or there's a new location in home, Cancer. Okay, this is someone who, this is about your investments in the earth, of course. But this is also something that involves um, risk, Cancer. Okay, communication first, Cancer. They may close their eyes often when they do business with you. So please be careful, you guys. Okay, please be careful. But this, this situation in particular, you guys, as I was channeling, a lot of it has to do with different aspects, different dimensions, or even as I was looking at um, aspects of your your sign cancer you guys are having to deal with different parts of your life okay please do not forget discernment some of you may be feeling a bit um you're trusting someone cancer okay and this has to do with your ancestors reaching out about the kitchen okay the kitchen the washing the dishes cleaning things up Making sure things are very clean for you, Cancer. Okay. A lot of you, this is about creating as well. Okay. So whenever I think of washing the dishes, I also think about cleaning up after I eat. So that, that moment where we're even in a lucid state, we may be lucid dreaming. You know, in some ways, I like to call it lucid dreaming because you daydream and your brain sort of, you know, it um, has a different... An altered state you guys okay so it's a form of a meditation practice in some ways so yes you guys yes 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 you guys this is a moment of really um, taking note of what needs to be clean in order for you to feel fulfilled harvest financial success you guys okay Okay, so let's go ahead and see central theme cancer. Let's see what's happening, you guys. What's happening with this king of pentacles? Let's see, my loves. Let's see what's happening. Okay, oh wow, okay. Cancer, the number 26 is prominent here. Some of you guys, I do see the number 26. Okay. We have the Seven of Wands and we have the Three of Pentacles, okay? So listen, my loves, a lot of you, right now, as we merge into Capricorn season, again, please be very cautious with who you're doing business with in terms of home. This has to do with your fourth house, okay? A lot of you may have some kind of karmic tie to someone who may be sharing something with you. They may be saying, I'm going to give you something here in return for something else. Okay. Or they may be offering something here to you. And I, I do see someone who's really confident about helping you. This earth sign. They're really confident. They want to help you, Cancer. They're um, flashy. They're flashy with their jewelry. This is someone who's very flashy with their, their jewelry, you guys. Okay. And this is also someone who is very proud, okay? They're very prideful, you guys, in regards to love, okay? 
this is someone who is really interested in your heart cancer okay mixing work and pleasure you guys be careful the seven of wands here okay listen wow your opportunities my loves a lot of this also has to do with saturn restricting time for you cancer some of you are going back in time or you may have to go back in time and perhaps fix something with someone here when it comes to work someone here is claiming that you've done something or you've offended them you said something out loud you overdid something Okay, as you can see, we do have the Seven of Wands here fighting for what you believe in. Please, you guys, this is a month to really take a moment and remain grounded when it comes to you, other people making assumptions, you guys. I do see a big part of this is to do with your opinions. You guys have this strong sense of commitment, Cancer. Okay. A lot of you are, are grounded. A lot of you guys, this is an ancient prophecy, okay? What I mean by that, you guys, Cancer, you've been here before. Your past life is very political, okay? People uh, listen to you. A lot of you guys were in charge of a community or you're in charge of healing, you're in charge of giving, you're in charge of service, okay? The only challenge with this, Cancer, is when people oppose your opinion, when they're against what you believe in, in public. Okay, so someone here has dishonored you this month as we move forward. But is it worth it, Cancer? Look at how you're, you're taking your stance, my loves. Is it worth it? Some of you be careful. Your job is on the line, okay? Bosses may not be telling you that this is a test, okay? So please be careful, you guys, with maybe even the approach. If, if um, someone here may be provoking you and someone wants to, I, I do see two people here, you guys. You have two people. You have a soul, a soul bond with someone here at work, Cancer. They want to elevate you. This person, they want to help you in terms of promoting you, okay? Someone else may be against it. When I look at Three of Pentacles in reverse, something isn't working. It's not working, Cancer. So a lot of you are having to go back to what worked, okay? But please be careful for anger or bouts of... Um, Maybe even frustration, you guys, okay? So let's take a look. Okay, Cancer, look at this. What opportunities are coming your way, you guys? Yes, you guys. Powerful. Powerful, my dear Cancers. Wow. Let me take a moment here. You have sacrificed Cancer. You have sacrificed so, so much of your heart, okay? This month, it's really important to you guys to take a look at your finances, your foundation, your seventh house. This is coming from your seventh house and your fourth house um, home, mother, mother archetype, the mother archetype, the mother of creation, and also um, your marriage, you guys, or alliances, or friends okay, or even karmic ties here. Okay, with the devil in reverse. Yeah, you guys, listen, this is a karmic lesson this month and it's really important for you. Okay, it's really important for you to come out of some kind of fear, cancer. You get a chance to break a family curse or some of you guys because some of you have a lovely lovely grandparent you guys okay or there's someone here who you really love they're reaching out to you they want to remind you of the power of cleaning things up meaning you can get rid of the stains you guys you can get rid of what was you can get rid of um, what has happened okay and you can start over a lot of you, you can start over. Someone here has an obsession with you, Cancer, at work. They're obsessed with how you're working, what you're doing. They're obsessed with your creativity. They're obsessed with what you're doing here in terms of um, a lot of your fine details. They want to know how you're doing it, 
what exactly it is that you're doing. Okay, I see a bit of cupping here as well. So please be careful. Please be careful, you guys. Okay, please be careful for, yes, you guys, please be careful for um, over over sharing something that can be taken from you. Okay, this is a part of the metaphor of cleaning or even wiping a dish, you guys. Seeing a mirror as you, you clean, you know, sometimes when we're washing dishes, we can see our reflection, okay, after we're eating or after we eat, right? So it's symbolic of fullness, ritual, harvest, you guys. Okay, my loves, so let's take a look here. What opportunities? What opportunities, you guys? Let's see, my loves, Cancer. Yes, you guys, listen, a lot of you, if you guys are feeling heavy this month, please take note that a lot of this has to do with the serpent, okay? We're, we're talking about the devil. We're talking about contracts. We are talking about... Um, we are talking about connections to the underworld. Okay. Connections through the underworld. Some of you may be... Yes, you guys are coming out of a, a dark... You are coming out of a dark time. Your shadow work, you guys. But please trust your instincts. I did see the serpent as something really important to take note of. Okay, where are you tempted, Cancer? And is it worth it? I do I do see a lot of this has to do with some kind of mood change. Okay, please be careful. Okay, my love, so what opportunities, you guys? Let's see what's happening here. Okay, Cancer. In 11 days, we have a major change. Yes, Cancer, are you trusting? Listen, a lot of you, this has to do with long-term commitments, your investments. It has to do with promises, you guys, and Aries for some of you. Okay. So we have the Ten of Cups, you guys. Okay. Well. So there's fulfillment here this month, you guys. There's joy. Okay. I do see a lot of joy here. A lot of you... You've been manifesting a new home, a new house, excuse me, a new home or a family where you've wanted to create something new. Okay. A lot of you Capricorn, Saturn teaches you, teaches you that it's not all what it seems, you guys. You can have your happy, your happy home, your happy ending, but this is going to be about This is going to be about who, who is in, this, in the surrounding areas in your life, you guys. Who are you collaborating with? Okay, who are you with? In terms of who are you aligning with, you guys? Okay, who are you aligning with, you guys? Who are your alliances here? Are you guys friends? Okay, or not. There's someone here. There's a bit of a frenemy situation here, you guys. Cancer. Okay, please be careful. This is more than just... I have to tell you guys, some of you may be like, oh, it's just work. It doesn't matter. But it matters. Okay, it matters. A lot of this has to do with this, this design, okay, and architecture, you guys, of your life. A lot of this has to do with your past life, you guys. Okay, so it does matter. Please make room for people who are going to support you, Cancer. This is not a month 
to stick around or to stay with people who are going to judge you, okay? The serpent, symbolic of the temptation of the people that you're surrounded by, you guys, with your fourth house and your seventh house. Again, we do have marriage, your allies, your past life allies, your karmic ties, you guys. Okay. This is about who will rebuild Rome with you, who will establish some kind of environment with you, or establish a new company, a new studio, or who can help you, you guys, rebuild. This is actual, actual, um, look at this, you guys. This is like actual pieces, okay? Putting it together, but in the reverse, people, it's like people aren't agreeing, okay? People around you are not agreeing. So just be careful with your karmic ties through your marriage, your relationships, you guys, or the people that you're around, okay? And you'll know it feels karmic when it's not aligning with you, you guys, when it's not um, a connection from a friendship, okay? Okay, let's take a look, Cancer. What opportunities, my loves? Please do not keep relationships longer than you should, Cancer. Please do not keep relationships longer than you should. Okay. Yes, I love you guys so, so much. The number five prominent here, you guys, for some of you. Okay, we do have religious factors. Some of you are coming back to your faith, okay? Some of you, please do not allow the world to pressure you or to rush you. Some of you are making a lifetime of a decision here. And it requires time, you guys. So give yourself the time you need, okay? Okay. Let's see, my loves, what's happening here. Okay, you guys, we do have the Four of Swords. Okay, wow. Okay, listen, you guys, take your time, Cancer. Even as I'm channeling for you, take your time. A lot of this has to do with connecting with your ancestors. Please connect with your ancestors. Take your time when honoring through ritual through prayer, you guys. There's something here that requires a lot of investment. Investment of the mind, investment of the body and spirit, okay? Also, meditation. Please meditate, Cancer. Don't rush to change something. Please don't rush to change something here. Okay, take your time and make sure that you're sure the light Look at this, the light of the church is connecting through your crown chakra, through your heart chakra. This is a heart chakra card, you guys. Is your heart sure, Cancer? Okay, that's what's most important, you guys. Well, there's someone here who's taking you back to the past. There's someone here who is, yeah, you guys, there's someone here who's confrontational. Please do not give in to pressure. Someone here wants, wants to fight for something as well. This is an inheritance for some of you, for others. This is about a home. This is about an inheritance. So this is about something, excuse me, you guys. Something that you really love, okay? So caution for aggressive off offers, you guys. There's something about this aggressiveness. Okay, Cancer, we ain't got time for that, right? We ain't got time for that, you guys. Okay, listen, my dear Cancers, Aries. Someone's in love with an Aries or a fire sign. You have Leo, Sag, Aries, you guys. Yes. Listen, for the Saturn retrograde, please do not take things personal. I do see someone who has mixed feelings for you, Cancer. This is an Aries. They, 
they're not sure about you okay they're taking their time with you and I, I feel some of you guys may be trying to sabotage or you're betraying your own your own instinct okay so let's take a look I'm also having a vision of the ascended masters you guys they are walking with you they're powerful they're powerful they're really 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 um grounded they are tuning in to your heart cancer a lot of you leo for some of you we do have the magician this is someone who is really excited to see you guys they are manifesting your love okay they want your love they want your light they want everything about you okay they have a chalice to offer you they have time okay they also have a pentacle here they have money they have they have it all but be careful for someone who's out in public this is someone who, who wants to show off with you okay this is someone who wants to show off with you guys this is someone who is um, in the industry of some kind they like to uh, put their wand up you guys okay they are showing off for cancer at the end of the month you guys listen wow i cannot believe this person is really really intense if this is new love you guys this is someone who's traveling for work okay you have a soul tied to this person who's coming towards you okay So let's take a look. Let's talk about love, Cancer. Let's talk about love, you guys. Okay, we do have the Magician and we have the Six of Cups. Listen, you guys, let me take a moment here. Okay. Yeah, you guys, be careful for a love this month that's faded, okay? A lot of you, this love is, it's really, really, really intense. It's obsessive. This is someone who really, really likes you or you like them, but it can become an obsession, you guys, okay? The only reason why I say be careful is the, the your beloved, you guys, this person wraps or they... Um, they're wrapping ivy around their neck. I'm having a vision here of someone who they tend to wrap things around their neck. This is a metaphor, you guys. This is someone who protects their third chakra. They protect their innocence and they also protect their freedom. So a lot of you can't say they're not ready to commit yet, but they really like you. This person is coming back with a lot of love or, um, you know, I, I wrote a song for you. I'm thinking of you. Okay, I really love you, Cancer, but the commitment, you guys, it's very innocent. It's just the beginning of the idea of love. It's the beginning of the manifestation of love, okay? For a lot of you, this has to do with a very strong fire sign. For others, a Scorpio, Cancer. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, you guys. Okay, this is a soulmate, you guys. This is someone from the past. Let's take a look, Cancer. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Cancer, this is someone you've had two separate crossroads with, two different lives. You've had two lives with this person where you did not complete a life cycle in terms of love. Okay. <clears throat> yes, Cancer, I do understand you guys. And Aquarius, and Aquarius, I still love you. Okay, we do have stay optimistic about your love life in reverse. Some of you, okay, Cancer, do you remember who you are, Cancer? as the energy floats upward, okay? Mercury pulls you up with the wand. Mercury is constantly pulling you up to remind you of your words. The power of your words, the power of your love, you guys. 
the power of your invocation, okay? So every morning, you know, starting, starting with an I am, starting with I belong, starting with your confidence and esteem, okay? Some of you, this person knows that you're coming out of a relationship, okay? Some of you may be leaving a partnership and you're starting something new, but they're taking advantage. Someone here may be taking advantage of you, you guys, or excuse me, advantage of the fact that you may be vulnerable to your esteem right now, okay? Please revisit your ancestors. They want to communicate with you with the Six of Cups, you guys. Okay, be careful, Cancer. Please revisit, revisit your, your rituals. Okay. And revisit your agreements. What is happening here in love, Cancer? Please make sure for um, Capricorn season, Cancer, that you guys are honest, okay? Please make sure that you guys are completely honest about your feelings towards others, okay? It's really essential because someone here is holding you to this, okay? And right now, Accruing karma is not an option. This will come right back to you. Okay, Cancer. A lot of you Saturn is closely watching, okay, what you're doing, how you're responding, how you guys are responding to things, how things are changing for you. And your ancestors want you to rise. They want you to do things differently, okay? They do not want you to make the same mistake. Please do not, do not make the same mistake is what they're saying through spirit, spirit guidance. Archangel Raphael, you guys. A commitment very close to your heart. A commitment very close to your heart, you guys. We have Jade, we have Emerald. Okay. Caution, Cancer. Please be careful with your agreements, Cancer in love. Okay, you guys. Some of you close to the end of the month, you guys. To the 25th, I do see ritual work for some of you. There's an obsession here, some of you. Some of you, there's an obsession. Be careful, you guys. Okay? You have to mean what you say this month. Because my cancer is your, you are the art of seduction this month, okay? You got it going on. People are like, who is that? What did cancer do? How did cancer make changes? Okay, what exactly did cancer do this month? People are watching, they're interested. Okay, so let's see you guys what is happening. Let's see what's happening here, you guys. Yes, listen. There's, um, there's a really powerful reminder, memory here. Pay attention, my loves, to your dreams again. Your dreams are really important this month. They're showing you, okay? They're showing you the importance, you guys, of clearing your most recent lifetime. So be careful for promises. Someone here is promising you the world. Okay, we have to give your relationship a chance. Someone wants you back, Cancer. Okay, someone really wants your love again. They really want you back. They really want this love back. They want all of your, um, yes, you guys, this person is soulmate. There's a lot of love here. This is someone, this is someone who you've loved several times. 
this is someone who you've had a bond with several times okay just honesty cancer make sure you're honest a lot of you have this powerful wand this month okay you are carrying the power of zeus for some of you so your love your love will believe you okay especially if they are an aries okay make sure make sure you guys are really honest otherwise i'm having a vision here of your wheel of destiny turning the other direction you guys it may be moving counterclockwise okay so there's something about clearing a debt here in terms of being honest yes cancer but you guys are always honest Listen, you guys, as you move ahead, you guys, through the 25th, okay, through the holidays, a lot of you, there is a very special, special gift in matters of love. This is about starting over. Some of you are getting engaged, Cancer, but either way, who is it that you're trusting? Okay, there's trust here on the line. Be careful, you guys. Okay, listen. Okay, we have a six of wands in reverse. Okay. Okay, you guys. Your crown chakra. Even as I'm channeling, a lot of you, please work on your crown chakra. Your six of wands in reverse here. This is about your intuition as well for some of you, okay? Leo, Sag, Aries, some of you, this person, this is someone either who is famous, you guys, or they have some kind of status in public, okay? They want to take you out, or some of you want to take this person out. Some of you guys are interested in this person. You want to elevate this person, or there's some kind of difference in terms of socioeconomic classes, okay? Both of you guys may be coming from a very similar, similar background, you guys. Okay, but different as well. But someone here may not feel comfortable, okay, with sharing something in public. So please be patient with this person. Okay, the Six of Wands in reverse here. You have two partners, you guys. Cancer, listen. You have everybody here. Okay, you have so many people who are ready to level up with you. A private love. My spirit guides are showing me a private love is best. A private love is best, you guys. Um, someone may not feel comfortable, okay? Please don't take it personal. I do see whoever this is. They really care about you with the wand here and also their hand behind their back. You know, the magician, you never know with them. They usually like to be single, but a lot of this has to do with them protecting a reputation here, either protecting your reputation or protecting um, theirs, okay? So just keep that in mind. Some of you may be worried about people getting involved, you guys. Okay, so please be careful. Be careful with overdoing um, maybe the... Give me a second, you guys. Yeah, you guys. Some of you, this person, they may not be happy about some kind of success. A lot of you are like magnets this month. Cancer, you're attracting everything you want. People are really attracted to you. Um, for Capricorn season, you're grounded. You are successful. A lot of you look wonderful. You have your finances in order. There's something really beautiful about your height this month or the way you're standing. You're regal. Okay. Especially as you clear your karma with mother, you guys, or the feminine energy this month. There's some kind of recognition that your person is afraid of. Someone's afraid to lose you. Okay. 
So let's see, you guys, Cancer. Yes, you have the sun right behind your crown, you guys. The solar sun. The reminder of your confidence, your esteem. Okay. It reminds me of the sun behind the lover's card, you guys. Okay, it's really beautiful, loyal. We have a lot of Leo here, a lot of signs from Leo. Okay, let's see and love you guys. Okay, we also have the 12th house. What is hidden, you guys? Please keep your relationships close to your heart. Please keep them private. Please keep them very close to your heart, okay? And do not rush a relationship, you guys, very quickly. Some of you are getting into a relationship in two days, or they're offering you some kind of relationship in two days. Don't rush, my dear Cancerians. This comes with a major life lesson or a karmic lesson. Take your time, you guys. Okay, so let's see, Cancer. Let's see, Cancer. We have the three of wands in reverse, you guys. Yes, please don't worry. Cancer, your love is enough. You are worthy, Cancer. Okay, there's no need to look elsewhere. Some of you have been waiting for a karmic partner to come back to you. This person is no longer. Okay, I have to tell you. What I'm seeing here for some of you, there's someone here who dims your light, Cancer. Okay, you've been working at really raising your vibration, Cancer. With the three of wands in reverse, you're saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to move forward now not tomorrow i don't want to wait for my ships to come in i don't want to wait for the sign okay so this is like um for instance you guys this is some of you guys may be having revelations of like christ consciousness or you're having dreams religious dreams you guys come through maybe um talking about different beliefs you're connecting with different philosophies for some of you okay and yes, my loves, this person is no longer waiting either. They want to come back to you. Okay, someone here. Someone here is ready to come back to you just as much as you are with them. Okay, you guys. So let's see, my dear Cancerians. This, I have to tell you, some of you, take your time to choose. Okay? Take your time, Cancer. Some of you listen there's an anxiety about love this month because saturn rolls over your heart and a lot of your speech your words so some of you may be speaking more definitely you're saying i'm definitely sure or i'm more there's something about finalizing with capricorn you guys okay capricorn energy is really really um final Okay, once Capricorn speaks, that's it for the most part. That's how they feel, okay? So there's something about Capricorn, the symbol rolling around your mouth, you guys, or your speech or the way you express yourself, okay? So you are manifesting your destiny at the end of the month. If you guys say yes, please make sure you're firm. This person is moving towards you or they are... Um, a Virgo, you guys, some of you, there's a Virgo here who is ready to invest in you. They're going to travel, they're moving towards you, and they're ready to commit. But they need some kind of uh, loyalty from you, or they need an oath from you, okay? And a lot of you, there's a lot of fun energy, like you're just really ready to just be free, Cancer, okay? Your lifetimes, yes, you guys. You have a karmic, a karmic tie to Libra, collectively Cancer, in terms of completion. So some of you may not feel trustworthy of loyalty, okay? So there's some kind of, um, there may be even a natural, you may be feeling as if you want to naturally, I, I don't want to go there, you guys, I'm so sorry, but I have to tell you, you may naturally want to step outside of your relationship there's an eagerness to <laughs> some of you may want to leave your relationship some of you guys may want to just cheat or there's a temptation to go somewhere else okay because of this karmic tie to libra you guys so please be careful 
Okay, this is not a time to do it. Please don't do it this month if you guys are going to do it. I know it sounds bad, but the truth is, okay, it, it, it's it's going to be a year, okay? My, my spirit guides are showing me a year around the wheel, okay? If you guys end up doing this this way, or if you guys end up um, cheating, okay? Especially if there's a birth. No shame, Cancer. There's no shame. I'm just... I have to just really be honest with you. The angels are encouraging another way. Um, try something different because of the heaviness of your karma this month, you guys. Okay, take your time. Take your time. And also, growing something from the earth will finalize things for you instead of maybe rushing, okay? But hey, do what you gotta do, you guys. <laughs> you know, take your time. Your person here... There's some of you are in a relationship with someone who really loves you. They're devoted to you. They may not be able to show it right away. Okay, some of you, they're going through shadow work, a lot of their inner child. Okay, a lot of their stuff from the past is, is resurfacing through a window. They're just having to really see their truth. You guys, this person's really in a lot of pain. So, Timing, Cancer, okay, timing, Cancer, or this may be the other way around, okay? So let's see, what, what do your ancestors have to say about love, Cancer, before I let you go? Okay, yes, you guys, tradition and order. Listen, a lot of you may want to escape with a Libra and Aquarius. There's a temptation around the Libra and Aquarius, you guys. Please listen, you guys. I have to just tell you, okay, if you're single, this is new love. This is someone who will pursue you with all heart. You guys, there's a lot of heart here, Cancer. You have the Seven of Pentacles. You have several options. The world is in your hands. The world is in your hands, you guys. Okay, you guys have the style. You guys have the, you guys have the patience. Okay, love, okay. My spirit guides are showing me love resurrects. So there's something around the resurrection here of your faith, of religion, of your beliefs. It goes hand in hand with you, Cancer. Some of you may have to forgive someone in order to move on. And I see a lot of devotion to the earth. Okay, a lot of devotion and gifts. Gifts from Gaia. Okay, you are deserving. Okay, there's someone here with um, a lot of black jewelry. This person wears a lot of black jewelry, you guys. Uh, this person may be finally letting something go. They're finally being honest about an inheritance or tied to money that oh, that you may owe, they may owe. My spirit guides are showing me owed in between a vault, in between a thread. Okay, um, excuse me, you guys. This Once this is resolved, you guys, at the end of the month, I do see calm. You guys are peace. You guys are in complete bliss. Okay. This is a major, major theme for you. Finances and what is owed from your partner, okay? And singles. Okay, singles. Okay, this air sign. I love you. We have an air sign here. It's really interested in you. For the collective. Okay, old ties. Removing old ties. Letting go. Yeah, some of you. Wow. Okay. We have someone who's in the field of art. They're creative. They're um, really interested in poetry. They like poetry with you or they, um, they write. They write through the stars with you or for you. Okay. This is someone who's dreaming about you. They're really dreaming. Aquarius again. Look at that. Okay. I have to be listen, Cancer. You know, you know it, Cancer. This person, they love you. They do, they do. But they only love the stars when it's um, dark. Okay, so this is what I'm having a vision is. This person really looks up to you. Okay, they really look up to you. They really admire you, but in the evening. So they are private. They're discerning. Okay, they are discerning but they're also away from their body. They do not like to commit, you guys. You are dealing with 
about someone who can change your destiny by misleading you. Okay, this is a love uh, that creates, a love that can also, a love that can bring some kind of creative project or that you can focus on creating, okay? You can maybe even look at it as a, a canvas to create, okay? But it's not a love to invest in right now, Cancer. So please be careful for rushing an Aquarian. This person will show you that they're only able to love you when they can, okay? They remind you of stars. They'll remind you of stars. They're elusive. They're away from you, okay? They're often um, traveling or promises, okay? Lots of promises here, Cancer. Okay, or they may often tell you they're, they're coming back and they don't. So be careful, you guys. This is someone, you know, the star is someone you love at a distance until you're ready to make an agreement or until you're ready to love each other. Okay, this is about agreements and solidifying with Gaia. Okay, you guys. So let's see. Cancer and love for my singles. Yeah, this is a separation of the veil or cosmic gate here. This Aquarius is giving you an opportunity to awaken your gifts. Okay, this is someone who can awaken your gifts, you guys. This is someone who can awaken your spirituality, a twin flame for some of you. This is your activation this month. Okay. Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, we have messengers, you guys. We have owls. We have the spirit totem of owls here. Okay. Someone here keeps a journal, okay, of who they're dating. So please be careful for journals and who, you, who they're dating or something around journals and people they're dating. We're trying to make this into some kind of theme, okay? They're like, um, they're trying, you guys, give me a second. This person may be, yeah, they're used to chasing after love. This person is used to yeah, you guys. This person is used to the thrill of love. Okay, they like the adventure. They like the moment, you guys. So please be careful, okay? But you do have a new beginning close to the 29th. Okay, let's see, Cancer. What opportunities in love for my singles? Yes, this is someone that you promised. A lot of you wrote a, written a letter, or you've written, yes, give me a second, guys. Some of you, there's a, le a letter that you guys um, have decided to disconnect from, or you're ripping a letter apart, you guys. Okay. This is someone that you guys are finalizing something with, okay? So, yes, emotionally charged, you guys, there's a lot of emotion here. Yes, you guys, look at this. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This may be an Aquarius still. Libra, Gemini. Okay, some of you, this is your twin flame. Okay, you may be wondering, are you staying? Do you love me? Do you really like me? Or what, what's... Okay, this is usually the initial connection, recognition. Okay, pouring into my well, pouring into my well of life. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. You do have your ancestors here. They are honoring your heart, Cancer. They want you to find, or they just want you to commit. Excuse me, you guys. They want you to commit to someone who's honoring you, who will honor you in the future. Okay, someone who will commit to you long term in terms of your finances as well. Okay, you guys. 
I like this for you. Yes, you guys, some of you, this is a Gemini. Some of you guys, your twin flame is a Taurus or an earth sign. But either way, take your time, you guys. This person isn't quite ready yet, but this is the first phase, your recognition. You guys both know there's something special here with each other, okay? Your person is still with a karmic, but this is like the actualization of your relationship. The knowing that you are meant to be together and you'll know by your dreams, Cancer. You'll, you'll know by um, your tunneling, your 5D tunneling. Yes? Okay. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Listen to the rhythm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cancer, be careful, you guys. Okay, my loves, let's see. Okay, what is the outcome? The angels, what do the angels have to say? What is the advice from the angels, please? Okay, you guys. A lot of you, please do not allow love to drown you this month, you guys, okay? Some of you are traveling through your spirituality. If you guys are spiritual, you're psychic, so you work in, in the field of spirituality, please make sure that you guys aren't spending too much time in the underworld, okay? Or um, in the heavens, or if you guys are choosing, this is about your faith and religion, you guys. Please make sure you are protecting yourselves. I do see a lot of psychic energy around you growing, or it's, there's a lot of purples around you, Cancer, okay, protect your energy, okay, your promises, so we do have Raziel here, Archangel Raziel, my favorite, favorite angel, freeing you, you guys, okay, so what is the outcome here? We do have the strength in reverse, you guys. We have Leo. Okay, we have Neo. Yes, brave Leo. This is about Archangel Michael as well, trying to raise your vibration, trying to raise, raise your esteem, Cancer. Please do not make decisions from a place of lust, okay? It's really easy this month with Saturn in Capricorn. We have the devil. It's really easy to make decisions from a place of lust, you guys, not trust, yes? So please come back to your strength, you guys. Okay, communicate with Archangel Michael. He's present. He's very much with you, the universe. Okay. Please make sure you are connecting to your strength in terms of your faith. The angels are waiting for you, okay? And they want you to, um, the encouragement of your light is to connect, you guys, to connect with different aspects of yourself, different cultures, maybe even different styles of magic before you decide. Yes, you guys, and be aware for anything, um, what, what was that? You guys, I'm, I'm kind of, um, it's a prayer saying, you guys, I got, but your words, thou shall not, right? Thou shall not, with the ace of swords in reverse. Thou shall not, you guys. There's heavy karma here for some of you. Your words, okay? Your words, you guys. The angels are holding you to your words, okay? Please make sure that you guys aren't being cruel. Cancer, okay, your cruelty. There's some kind of division here. There's some kind of division so make sure that you guys are um, at least trying cancer your heart. I'm worried about you guys, okay? There's something around not wanting to use your heart this month. So be careful. 
it can come right back to you with the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is a card that's often used as a reversal. When people are really um, cruel to you with words, you guys have some kind of karma here or the ability to reverse negative words or even rituals, okay? So take your time and be kind, you guys, please don't forget. Don't forget yourselves in um, the process of, okay? I love you. I love you, Cancer. This is a month of reflection. Please choose your heart, you guys. Do not lower your vibration when other people are doing so, okay? Help people raise their vibe. I do see a lot of gifts, a lot of success if you guys are able to just show people the way. You were once a messiah and you still are. You are once a leader and you still are. So show people that there are other ways, you guys, okay? I love you guys. We'll chat soon. Bye.